Oh. Um, but they can all see you. Awesome. Okay. Well, great, hey. you guys. Um, I'm so glad that that you guys are all on, and I know Lauren's going through a lot, but um, she wanted to open up this call for you. Go ahead, Lauren. I know you're going to talk. Yeah, no problem. All right. Hey, Fit Fours. Hey, everybody. Um, Welcome to our team call. It's Wednesday, October 14th. Um, like Darby said, for those of you guys that don't know, we're sorry about the little bit of confusion. I'm using a hotspot today. I got in a car accident this morning, and um, I'm sitting at a car dealership, and um, it wasn't allowing her to get on. So we got it all worked out, but I wanted to introduce Darby to you guys real quick. Her name is uh, Darby Avalos, and She's from Southern California. She's a mom of two and a military wife. Um, she's been a coach for about three years. She is Mindy Wender's coach in her downline, and um, she is a Success Club All-Star, a six-star diamond coach. Um, right now, she's ranked number 102 in the company, and she will be an elite coach this year. Um, you guys, she knows her stuff, and she's here to talk to you guys today about just believing in yourself and the power of belief and just leadership all around. So. Um, this is a topic I know that we can all gain something for, from. So grab your notes. And if you have questions for her as we're going, you can post them underneath our team call um, flyer in Fitforce. And I'll make sure I'll ask her at the end. But um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it right on over to Darby. All there right. Thanks, Lauren. Okay, so this, like Lauren said, is a great topic. And it's something that we all can learn from. Um, and especially being at leadership this last weekend, it really, you know, shows me that even top coaches, this is something that we work on daily, you know, um, this is something that all of us need more of um, work on. So this is going to be a really good topic. And I'm sure, you know, you might be saying, oh, I hear about this all the time. But sometimes it takes hearing things a few times to really Get, let it sink in, or maybe it takes somebody different um, telling you about it or talking about it and giving you tips for it to really sink in. Um, I know that's for sure because I can't tell you how many times I've heard a message similar to what Tara Cars was um, this week on the wake up call, but for some reason that call just got to me, and sometimes it just takes, um, you know, hearing it a few times or from somebody else. So, so we're going to talk about being a confident leader and self-belief. So I'm going to start off with a quote from Simon Sinek. And um, he says, leadership is not a rank or position. Leadership is a service to be given. And how true is that? I mean, if you think of yourself as a boss, that's completely different than what a leader is. A leader is somebody who is forthright and giving of themselves, somebody who um, is giving rather than instructing. So we want to make sure that we're always acting in that manner. We want to make sure that we're always giving of our team, giving of our clients and our challengers. Um, you know, whether you have one coach under you in your downline, whether you have a hundred coaches, maybe you're a brand new coach or you're just really starting to ramp up your business and you don't have any coaches, you are a leader. Um, and that's the same thing goes if you have challengers, clients, um, if you don't have any, you are still a leader because you are in this business and you are a leader in your community. Um, for majority of us, we run our businesses on social media. So um, you are the leader to your community on your social media because you are showing them that they, first of all, can trust in you if they were to join this business with you. And you are showing them that you are going to lead them if they were to become a challenger, a client under you, that you're going to lead them to the best results that, that they are looking for um, with our programs. So don't think that it takes a certain rank to become a leader, to start doing leadership things, to start um, portraying leadership qualities, because um, you know, leadership is really a mind shift. Um, it, you know, it's not like you hit diamond now suddenly you're, you're a leader in this business or you hit five star and you're a leader in this business. Like it, it's, it's all about a mind shift. And I can tell you, um, for myself that that changed my business was that mind shift because, um, you know, you have to have that belief in you. So if you're taking notes, um, oh, before I say anything, I really, I know some people use the quote, fake it till you make it, but I really, really do not, <laughs> do not like fake it till you make it. I totally get, get it, but I don't like that term. And I think it should be learn your craft until you make it with leadership. So that's the number one thing. So <clears throat> first thing I want you to write down if you're taking notes is 
believing in yourself. And before we can learn anything about leadership, before we can lead anybody else, we need to le learn to lead ourselves and believe in ourselves. Um, you know, how many times have you said um, when you first started, or even now still as a coach, who's going to listen to me? Um, who's going to pay attention to what's go what I have going on? I'm not qualified for this. Um, you know, success is for somebody else, not for me. Uh, you know, all these things, like I can't risk failure. How many times have you heard that um, or told yourself that? Maybe people have, have told you that in the past because they don't believe in themselves. Um, you know, you have to get out of that mindset and you have to be able to talk yourself up from from those negative thoughts because trust me everyone hears them and I know um, Lauren can say the same thing you know there was a panel at leadership from top coaches and these are these are women that you would think are the most confident women on the planet but they have the same issues they've gone through the same things we all go through it but it's seriously a daily mindset that you have to put yourself into so how are you going to have more belief in yourself. The first thing is you need to reaffirm yourself. And so for me, every day, um, I try and wake up and reaffirm myself that I can do this. And you know what, it, it is gonna take a daily reaffirm. Um, you know, I wake up and I say, I can do this. I am a good leader, you know, and this, like I said, this goes for, if you don't even have any coaches under your team, before you even get on your social media, if you run your, your business, um, you know, majority on social media, before you even do anything business-wise, you need to reaffirm yourself that you can do this, you are qualified, and you are a great leader. So that's the first thing that I do. Um, reaffirm yourself that you are worthy to be helping people. Um, you are smart enough to be able to help people in this business. You are smart enough to give people, um, you know, help people with their meal planning. You are smart enough to help, to motivate people in your challenge groups. That, it seems so simple, but that is so huge because you cannot lead somebody else to believe in themselves if you can't believe in yourself first. Um, okay, something really cool and different that my mom actually, um, she sent me a training on. She, my mom works for UPS. She works for the corporate part of UPS, but um, it was about women in, in the workplace. And even though we do work um, solo majority of the time you do get on calls um, and even if you are doing emails or messages this is still so important and um, what it is is your posture when you're talking to somebody so um, you know even in a message because I've tried this and she sent this to me um, you know if I'm on the couch on my laptop and I'm you know hunched over and I'm typing to somebody you know about joining my business it's a completely different mindset and posture and how i'm going to present it to them as if i'm on my computer i've got my you know my head up i've got my you know shoulders back and i'm just confident in what i'm talking about so if you're in front of people that's going to make you more confident as a person um if you are even just you know, speaking on a message or an email, if you have confidence in the way that you hold yourself, and it's not about perfection, it's not, it's not like get up and get ready and be cute, I mean, it's literally how you hold yourself. If you have confidence in yourself, even in a message, that's going to portray through that. Okay, and then the number one thing with believing in yourself is you have to realize that it starts with you because you are going to have so many doubters. And I can tell you that um, when I started as a coach, I didn't know anybody who did Beachbody. I like personally, besides my upline, and I don't know her personally. She's from the East Coast. I'm from the West Coast. And I happen to have met her on a website. Um, but when I started Beachbody, nobody really knew about Beachbody coaching um, in my circle of people. And so everybody was very like, well, what the heck is this? You know what I mean? So. I had to literally put the whole belief in myself because nobody believed this thing was even like a thing, even real. So it all starts with you and don't listen to what other people have to say because um, all you have to do is something that Vito said at leadership is when somebody gives you advice or somebody says, well, you can't do that or you're not, are you sure you should be doing that? Ask yourself this, does this person ad advice mean anything to me? Do they know what, is this of value to me? Do they know what I do? Do they have any influence in my business? And if that answer is no, then, you know, don't, it doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they think. And that was huge for me to hear because, um, you know, I do let negative talk come into my life and I need to make sure to not let that happen. 
Um, something else Vito did that actually the timer went off 10 minutes before we got on this call, which is awesome because I was going not even going to talk about it. Um, he had us go in our phone. So I know some of you might be on your phone right now, but when we get off this call, set a reoccurring um, alarm to go off at 9 a.m. And have it say be more confident with a ton of explanation points. So I was getting kind of nervous coming on this call with you guys, and 10 minutes, my, my thing comes up, goes on 10 minutes before um, the actual alarm goes off. And my I looked at my phone and it said, be more confident. So I thought that was perfect for this call. So when we get off this, um, put that in your phone for 9 a.m. That I think that's a great time because that's usually right when I'm getting onto my computer, I'm getting everything figured out for my day, for my business, and um, you know, having that go off was awesome. Okay, so number two, so that's all about believing in yourself, and that, like I said, that's number one in being a leader. Number two is learn your craft. So with this business, like I said, I hate the term fake it till you make it. So everything with leadership is learned if it, it doesn't matter if you were never a leader in your life um, maybe you felt like you were always in the background and, and you weren't the first person to lead that doesn't matter leadership is a learned quality it's not something that there's leadership qualities that you already have in in yourself but you can learn to be an even better leader um, so what I do is I take little snippets from people that I admire and whether that's people from the business, that's people in other leadership roles in different companies, different businesses. But for me um, in this business, like somebody who I really look up to is Mindy Wender. She's not my direct upline coach, but she, um, I am in her downline. And so I take things that I know work that speak to me that she does. So, um, you know, the way she trains her team, like her integrity just as a coach in general, as a leader to her team, um, you know, her presence on social media. I, I take things from that and I make it my own because I know that works for me and it speaks to me. So I know that it'll speak to somebody else. Um, how she talks to her team and that just kind of goes along with integrity. Um, she, you know, it, I just want to emulate her in my own way so I'm not trying to be Mindy Wonder but um, what what she stands for is something that I strive to be like to help other people because I see how much you know how many people she she helps daily um, and of course with learning your craft and it's always the vital be behavior that everybody puts off and I do too sometimes but it's so so important is personal development so um, something that we talked about at leadership too is having personal development geared towards what you need so if we're talking about leadership and um, being a more confident leader and learning how to lead a team is something that you struggle with or something that you really want to dive into then you've got to get on personal development that is completely geared towards that. So some personal development books that I like for leadership is Good to Great by Jim Collins. So that's Good to Great, and that's by Jim Collins. The Five Levels of Leadership by John Maxwell. And then one that I just ordered is, which I'm really excited about, it's called Grateful Leadership by Judith Uma, Umla, um, Umlas. Um, but that, that one, that last one, Grateful Leadership, is all about what I love, which is like acknowledging your team. And I know Lauren's really good at that too, so you guys have a great leader in that. Um, so that's Good to Great by Jim Collins, Five Levels of Leadership by John Maxwell, and Grateful Leadership by Judith Umlas. I hope I'm saying her last name right. Okay, so that was number two, learn your craft, which is very self-explanatory, but like I said, if you are you know, close to diamond, even if you're not, if you are a diamond, you're close to diamond, you're emerald, you're a new coach, learn the craft of leadership and what really speaks to you so you can become the best leader you can be. Okay, and the very last thing, um, about becoming a great leader is lead from the front. And you guys are all very, very blessed because, because you have an amazing leader in Lauren. Um, she, I know for a fact that she would never have you guys tell you guys what you need to be doing in your business and she's not doing it herself. So leading from the front is leading by example. So um, ask yourself these questions. You want your coaches to make Success Club, but are you making Success Club? 
are you making that non-negotiable? If you want your coaches to make that non-negotiable, you need to make that non-negotiable. You need to lead from the front because in this business, like I said, a lot of people get in this business because they want to be their own boss. You are nobody's boss. You are their leader. So you need to show them what you do and they're going to emulate what you do and they're going to do that with their downlines. Um, I know Lauren is great with acknowledging you guys and she is great with um, shouting you guys out. And, you know, besides the fact that obviously that is her love language, it's mine as well, um, that, you know, obviously she loves that for herself, but she is teaching you guys how to do that with your downlines. So if that's something that you love, you look forward to every time that she's shouting you out, she's putting you on, you know, a poster that says um, Success Club or, you know, Team Builders or, top producers, top recruiters. That is something that you should be doing with your team because that speaks volumes to your team. Um, don't wait for Lauren to do that. You know, I always tell my coaches, don't wait for me to do something. If you have a downline, you do it. You shout them out. You get them on your page and you shout them out. Always lead from the front. Um, if you want your coaches to be running challenge groups monthly, you need to be running challenge groups monthly. And another great thing as a leader to do is always share what you're doing with your team. Um, I always try to, um, whenever I'm, I'm uh, talking about a challenge group, I'm going to start inviting for a challenge group. I always tell them exactly what I'm doing, when I'm starting it, how I'm inviting people, and I share that invite. Um, you know, that the whole thing with a team and how this business works, we're better together. We're all better together. So um, sharing everything that, that we do with our team is vital for helping them, but in turn, that's going to help you. Um, so those are the main things. And, and of course, you know, leading from the front, always lead, always be an example of leadership. Um, like I said, never have your team do something that you're not willing to put in the work to do also. So those are my main things. Is that good, Lauren? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. There we go. I think that's better. There you are. Yeah. Sorry, I mute myself when everybody's talking. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was amazing. That was so great. I know a lot of it is stuff that, you know, was reiterated to us at leadership. And I just, you did an amazing job presenting it way better than I could have <laughs> to my team. So thank you so much. I know I have a ton of notes of things that I took away um, that were not presented at leadership. And I wrote down the list of books that you gave, which is great. Um, and I also wanted to add that there is an app on your phone that, um, I learned about that goes along with one of the books that Darby was talking about, which is the five levels of leadership. And I'm pretty sure you can download that and you can actually take a quiz and kind of rate yourself um, as a leader and you can get the audio book there. Um, so definitely check that out. But I just wanted to say thank you so much again to Darby for hopping on here with us today. And if you guys have any questions for her, um, I didn't see any pop up in the group, but I can certainly relay some questions later if we have any. Um, but I think that's it. So thank you again so much, Darby. I really appreciate you taking the time to spend with us today and go over some stuff about leadership. So sure, that's no it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> have a good day. Get that car you fit. Too. I will. <laughs> Hopefully they're almost done. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Bye. Bye.